Hello, this is Rob Hirschfeld. Uh, this is a 10-minute introduction to OpenStack on Crowbar. Uh, we've already spent 10 minutes on Crowbar, so if you missed that video, I suggest you go back and, and check that one out. Uh, that helps see how we got the environment staged and ready for this. Uh, however, uh, it's not necessary, so we'll see where we're going. Uh, OpenStack is a open source cloud infrastructure project. Uh, providing infrastructure as a service, storage as a service, network as a service, a, a lot of real interesting capabilities that are all coalescing around building uh, cloud infrastructure using open source projects. And one of the things that we really like about OpenStack is that it's a real community project. So it has contributors from a lot of different companies. This slide actually doesn't even uh, have, I think, a third now of the total players involved. Um, and it's not just that these are all consumers of the project. Uh, these are contributors. So Crowbar is a really, our OpenStack is a really dynamic uh, community in that sense, and, and we're really excited to be a part of it. When we look at OpenStack, the red components here are the OpenStack components. Those components are uh, an essential part, but they're not a complete part of the full cloud solution. So to bring up a full cloud, you need a whole bunch of other capabilities and operational readiness, uh, which is a lot of what Crowbar brings in. Uh, not just the physical infrastructure, the operating system set up, but your, your hypervisor set up, the infrastructure pieces like Rabbit and SQL, uh, all those pieces have to be in there. And then there's ultimately ecosystem partners that allow you to extend and leverage the capabilities of OpenStack. So it's important to understand that this is a part of a complete solution, uh, and, and we're really working to bring all those pieces together. For OpenStack itself, what Crowbar will deploy is this infrastructure, uh, which shows that there are support capabilities like Rabbit and SQL. Uh, there's parts that are focused on compute, which is the Nova infrastructure, uh, and there's storage, which is the Swift infrastructure. For the demo, we're just going to focus on Nova. Uh, and these arrows show the places where uh, pieces come in. We're going to also deploy the dashboard, which is the user interface that bridges capabilities between all of these uh, products. So let's jump over and actually show some working stuff. So this is the Crowbar interface, this is the, de the dashboard. I've brought up two nodes already. Uh, this, the node one, and uh, I've already started deploying some OpenStack components, and I'll show you how that how that's set up uh, from the OpenStack bar clamps. Node two is just raw. The operating system was deployed, but the, there's nothing, no personality, no applications on it. This node is in our allocate holding pattern, and so uh, we're gonna wanna include that in our infrastructure, and I'll, I'll show how all that stuff works. So what we have here, so I'm going to set this up so I can watch the nodes page really quickly and see, uh, see how things are going. If we jump over to our OpenStack bar clamps, you can see I've already deployed MySQL and Keystone and Glance. If I jump into the proposal, you'll see that those things are already deployed on node one. Node one is our controller node. Uh, I could change that around. Uh, that's a Crowbar topic, I'll show you a little as we, we drill in. So the next thing I want to deploy uh, in our compute infrastructure, uh, we're going to show these in the order they need to be deployed, so I'm just working down the screen. So here's the Nova Dashboard. Nova Dashboard uh, consumes these other bar clamps that have been put together, so we can choose MySQL, and then we are going to choose the proposals that we want the system to be involved in. I'm not deploying Swift, so I'll leave that blank. Here's the nodes that I have available for Nova Dashboard. I'm going to keep putting things on the controller so all this lines up. Uh, I haven't given this node a special name yet. I will do that, jump back and do that once we've gotten this deployment uh, sort of running. So in this case, what's happened is we've come back. We now recognize that this Nova Dashboard is having some work done. If we jump over here, you'll see that we can tell which node it is that is uh, being impacted by this proposal change. This, this node is still waiting for us to make some decisions. I'll oblige it by making some decisions. So node three, these are populated by default. It's still in the OpenStack group, so we'll save this. Uh, and now this is gonna show up as node three. So we've made some progress. Things are, things are looking pretty good. All right. So I'm gonna jump back here. Uh, there's no reason uh, that the bar clamps actually are aware that they have dependencies, so I can keep keep moving through. The dashboard just finished, um, and I can go in and, and start creating these. So this is going to build up based on the proposals I've got. Uh, 
because I'm deploying on virtual VMs, I want to use QMU instead of KVM. Physical hardware, of course, I'd use KVM for this deployment. Um, one of the things to note is that all of these proposals, um, they're actually just uh, GUIs on top of the, the Chef. We use Chef under the cover, so this is the Chef configuration that you would use if you were doing the, the, network, the your, your choices. And there's a lot of uh, options in how these things built. We support um, all the primary uh, networking modes uh, out of the gate for Nova. And then there's under RAW, there's actually even more configuration capabilities that are available. So in this case, uh, this is really interesting. Here's how Crowbar is actually looking at the system. It's identified that there are uh, three nodes in the system that are available. Uh, it's going to keep using node one for the controller because that's where our components have been, and node two and three have been allocated uh, as uh, candidates for being our compute nodes. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and allow those to, uh, to apply. And this is where Crowbar does something that is, is really interesting. It's going to look at the infrastructure that it has available, and it's going to recognize that it doesn't have all the capability that it needs. So one of those uh, nodes, node three, let me bring it up in the background, was not uh, was currently in a discovery state, so it was just waiting for us to apply things. Uh, once we had applied, Crowbar identified that it didn't have all the resources we'd asked for. It kicked it out of that state and is continuing in the deployment. So it's building the operating system. It's going to get all the pieces and parts um, necessary and then deploy Nova. So right now that, that node is in a hold state. Uh, it's moved out of uh, waiting to be allocated into an allocate state. And I can't start doing my Nova deployment on node two and three until this node finishes uh, its, its activity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I don't really want to wait for that. I'm going to come in. I'm going to edit this proposal. I'm going to take node three out. I'm going to reapply. Oops, sorry. I'm going to DQ it first. So we're not waiting for it. Uh, I've now got these things in, in the right state. I'm going to apply here. And in this case, I'm just choosing nodes that have already been uh, correctly set up. So in this case, Crowbar doesn't have to continue to wait for the infrastructure to be ready, and it can start doing the deployment immediately. I can come back in in a little while and then add node 3 back in, uh, and, and it'll start going as soon as that node is ready. But in this case, I've allowed us to sort of break the log jam, use the resources that I have in the, in the system and ready to go. So if I jump over back to the dashboard, I can see uh, these two are busy because I'm deploying Nova on them. This one is busy because it's now installing the operating system. And I can show you that in the virtualized environment. So here's the base operating system for Node 3. Node 2 and Node 1 are, are already in a stable state. All we're doing is, is using Chef to deploy the OpenStack components as orchestrated by Crowbar. So as these components finish, what we'll see is not only have we deployed a whole bunch of capabilities on it, uh, we've also, inside of our Nagia, Nagia, Nagia server, uh, we've brought up multiple hosts. Uh, host node 3 is not yet available. Uh, but we've also told it which capabilities are available on which servers and then added uh, additional logging attributes based on that, the role that system is playing. So one of the things that Crowbar has done is actually done a full integration all the way through how the system operates. So over here, we're just waiting for things to finish. Node 1 is going to bring up the Nova dashboard. I'm going to go ahead. Nova dashboard was already deployed. And I can log into the Nova dashboard. Notice we provided a quick link. Uh, so if a capability is deployed, then we can click uh, from the dashboard here for that node and jump right to where the node is. Those errors are going to go away when I hit refresh. It's part of the uh, Diablo build uh, coming in. I can see that I have a certain number of resources available. Here right now I have uh, no cores. We're still deploying Nova, so that's missing. That'll come in as I, as I add capability. Uh, but this is the uh, Nova infrastructure. And having just deployed it, uh, we start with a, a base image that's available. 
Uh, if I was the user, I could create new users. This is what my user is. I haven't, I haven't actually deployed any images yet. Uh, let's see if Nova is ready. Uh, Nova is not ready yet, so I can't, I can't yet come in and deploy an image. But once I, once I have Nova ready, I'll be able to go ahead and launch. Uh, uh, however, <laughs> only ten minutes, and my ten minutes are up. So. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing how we can use Crowbar to bring up a full uh, uh, OpenStack infrastructure. And uh, I hope you go ahead and try it yourself. Thanks. Thanks.